Alright, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of the Two and a Half Studios, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. So, straying away from the UU battles that I've been doing a little bit of recently, this one's a random. Um, every once in a while, if I don't have as much time as I would for a UU, I'll just jump on a random real quickly, because those battles generally don't take as long. So, who, so here, we've got the famous uh, triple ground immunity, with the air balloon and the, love and the flying type. So, that's kind of funny, I guess. I poison it and switch out, because I can't really do much else to it with Whimsicott. So... Uh, Sucker Punch, Cacturn, that's the problem. I don't really like Cacturn. I've had a lot of problems with Cacturn in random battles in the past. It's one of those things. It's not as bad as a uh, Keldeo can be. I taunt that because I don't want to set up Sword Senses, and it unfortunately doesn't go for Sword Sense or anything. Um, <clears throat> actually, that Aftermath, that did a lot of damage. I don't usually think Aftermath would do that much damage. So I can uh, bring in Whimsicott and Toxic that thing so that I can put a little bit of a limit on that thing's days. So uh, it'll be gone in a couple turns depending on the HP recovery from Drain Punch if there is going to be any. So Embor comes in, um, trying to bait him into something that won't do very much damage at all. Uh, Drain Punch on Hitmonchan, that did a decent amount. It didn't really cover that much, so that's good, I guess. Um, taunts ended. Yeah, that was a completely useless uh, use of a turn. I'm going to be using Bulk up here because I know he's going to be dead next turn anyway. Seed Bomb, that does a little bit of damage. Uh, more than I would have wanted it to after the the, um, the Bulk up. U2 comes in, and... I can't do anything to this thing, so I just figured that I, I don't know, hit it with like an earthquake or fire punch or whatever got on the thing, but unfortunately it's faster than me too, so that doesn't even happen. Anyway, Ice Beam, Meganium, that did nothing to Meganium. That's a Mewtwo, that's a Mewtwo, uh, X, so that's not going to be a special attack in Mewtwo, but still, that did nothing uh, for a super effective Ice Beam on a Meganium. Anyway, so Mothum comes in, I'm going to be switching out as well. Um, into Wishcast. I'm going to be switching out now here again because I'm afraid he's going to have like Giga Drain or something, but he goes for Kuba Dance, so, um, oh well. I'm in a better position against this guy anyway, so if that scares him out, I guess he can't do anything to me, no air slash or nothing. Um, I go for Flare Blitz because I want to finish the thing off quickly. Rotom Fan comes in and it almost takes it down on the Toxic finish of the job off, so that's good. Um, I just realized I have like Fire, Grass, and Water Rip on my team still alive. Anyway, Mewtwo, Y, X, whichever one the uh, fighting type is, comes back in. I go for Flare Blitz, and that goes and um, kills the Mewtwo, which is really nice. Um, Thunderbolt. Magnezone Thunderbolt finishes Ember off, finally. Um, but Witch Count comes in, and I'm pretty sure, unless it has some ridiculously absurd HP Grass, can't do anything to me. So I take that opportunity to use Dragon Dance, and then he's going to switch out. And now I'm going to be using Stone Edge. So I'll be annihilating the Mothum even without the Dragon Dance. Um, Aldino comes in. I can't do all that much to this, but the highest damage output that I can get is Earthquake. And hoping he doesn't have something stupid. Fortunately, Toxic, that's going to take like four turns to end up being anything that's really annoying. Another Earthquake goes and finishes the Aldino off. Only one left is, uh, what's-his-face, the uh, Magnezone. And I know that Magnezone can't do beans to a Wish Cash. Unless it's got like a choice specs try attack or something. But that thing goes down, good game. Um, that was just there, it was a clean battle, uh, and it had a triple ground immunity. I'm pretty sure the only reason that that thing still exists in Pokemon Showdown is because the uh, the programmers think it's funny. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. Rate, comment, subscribe, watch all the stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you later.